Welcome to another MoTeC webinar. My name is Pete Swinney and today's subject is Jenny Fuel Film on the M130 GP Lite ECU. Uh, so, fuel film, that's referring to the transient behaviour that the engine goes through and or the, the fuel change that happens when you get a manifold pressure change inside the plenum. So, uh, in in their gold box ECUs, we, there was a method of changing the behavior of the pulse width proportional to the rate of change of the throttle. In the M1, we actually have, go through a process of trying to model the actual uh, amount of fuel on the wall inside the, the plenum or inside the inlet runner. So the, what causes that lean stumble is the different evaporation rates of the of of the fuel that's uh, sitting or lying in the inlet manifold runner here. So as the manifold pressure in here changes, then the, uh, the way the vapor or the evaporation rate of the fuel in lying on the wall here changes. So um, we model the behavior of that based on a manifold pressure change and we brought that back to a very simple parameter for GP light and I just want to take you through the tuning process of that. So we have two um, models for fuel film and one where we simply have a, a table that designates the amount of fuel on the wall at any given manifold pressure and then a very simple scaling number to allow you to push the, the volume up and down. Effectively you're just going to change this one number and have a look at the behavior of the lambda response in the on the screen. Alright so there's a thorough method, a second method of going through and actually physically calibrating and measuring the actual microliters of fuel in on the wall but that's only available in our GPA and UP packages. So, uh, we only have a few parameters, as I say, in GP Lite. Um, this primary scale and this uh, fuel film table here. So the best way to, while you're getting an understanding of how this works, is simply when you're on this table, is to press F1 and make sure that the help values are entered in the table and that puts a pretty standard curve that suits most engines with um, you know with injectors and standard locations so and then what you do is as uh, you test the engine up and down by putting it through a transient response you adjust this fuel film primary scale number here and uh, until you get the best uh, result. Alright, again, best way to do this stuff is to look at it live. We've got our engine running here. Um, this engine is running on E85, so it's quite got quite a different fuel in it. And uh, I've tuned the area in where we're going to run this. So there's no point in us doing any fuel film calibration or changes if the engine itself isn't mapped in that area. So if we uh, stab the throttle and we get a big lean spot in our lambda, and if we haven't tuned the efficiency map in that area, then is the lean spot because our fuel film setup is wrong, or is the lean spot because the lambda is uh, sorry? Is is that because the efficiency table is wrong? So you'll see I've been tuning the sites around where we're going to do this test. Okay, that's the little black dots there. So we're going to start our test down here. Unfortunately, our dyno control isn't that great, so uh, the engine speed will flare, but we'll, we'll get the idea of what we're trying to achieve. And uh, if all of these areas are located and the engine runs in these areas, then if it does go lean for any reason, that is because of a transient response uh, issue and that's what the fuel film setup is designed to help correct. So, assuming all of that, let's turn the pump on the dyno and bring us up into the area. We'll go to the fuel fuel film page, which is under the tuning setup and worksheet eight fuel film. 
And if you have a look here, you'll see, uh, first of all, we've got our standard numbers in the, the fuel fill main table, but I've effectively turned everything off by running the, um, the, the scale down to zero. So basically that just turns all the fuel film off. And I'll just show you uh, what the engine's responding like or what the lambda response is like for a few different changes of manifold pressure. So we're sitting down kind of at the bottom of where I did the tuning. The closed loop's off, you can see, and we're reasonably close to our target lambda. So we'll go back over to our fuel film. And if I just bring the uh, throttle open a bit, you can see the lambda has gone lean there. And if I close the throttle back again, you see it runs a little rich, which is pretty much the opposite of that behavior there. All right, so we go up again and we see the lambda go lean and back again, we see it go rich. So that's a typical behavior of what happens when the uh, evaporation rate is changing and we're not doing anything in the ECU to fix that. So I'll put a large number in here. Uh, I'll put in a ridiculous number. I'll put in 200. Of course, we get an initial change. It'll settle back down. All right, so we'll just do that same step. And you can see already it's reasonable. It's, it actually went a little rich and actually went a little lean. So you can see that number wasn't actually that bad. We'll just stab it open again. And it's actually pretty stable, going a little rich. So I'll halve that number. Come back down to our lower manifold pressure. You can see the manifold pressure changing up and down here as I alter the throttle. Okay, so open it up again. And you see our lambda deviations just about negligible. Now, yes, I'm not opening that gigantically, but you can see the effect of changing the scale and how that is fixing the problem. So if you're, you're confident that your uh, efficiency map is tuned correctly, then by altering this scale number to give you the effect that you want. If it's going overly rich when you put your foot down, then you've, this number's too big. If it's going overly lean, you need to make the number larger. If you're anywhere outside sort of 50 to 200 in the scaling number, then either you haven't got the right uh, default numbers in here, or your efficiency map, or there's something else, maybe a fuel pressure problem. So that's it really. Uh, just one number to tune to try and get the best results you can. You can see the effect of it. Um, Nothing too complicated. Check if we've got anything off here. No, that's it. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time.